So good morning, everyone. Bonjour et bienvenue. My name is Emily Farmer, and today I will be presenting my Keystone project, creating a greater Francophone identity in the novice level French world language classroom. So my project focuses on exploring the Francophone identity through redesigning a traditional grammar based world language curriculum and transforming these into um, proficiency based thematic language curriculum. So in this presentation specifically, we'll look more closely toward the end at unit number four in my curriculum map. But to get us started, my project really began with this question of the Francophone identity. So what does it mean to be a French speaker and who are French speakers? So typically when we think about a French speaker, many of us probably have someone that looks like this in our mind. A white individual who is definitely from France and probably from Paris. They wear a beret, they eat baguettes and they drink lots of wine. However, not only is this image extremely stereotypical, but it's also harmful to our students and inaccurate. So why is this harmful? Students learn best when they can see themselves represented in the curriculum. But where does this leave our students in the Boston Public Schools where 75% of students are black and brown? And why is this inaccurate? So in reality, more than 50% of French speakers live on the continent of Africa, not in Europe or in France. And the international organization of La Francophonie 28 of the 54 member countries are located on the continent of Africa. And the presence of French, of the French language in Africa is only growing. So in 2050, it's estimated that 85% of the Francophone population will live on the continent of Africa. So I set out to create a unit of curriculum for a novice level French one classroom. And I chose the French one and the novice level because I wanted students first interactions with the French language to be authentic and representative of the Francophone population. I've also found that there's quite a gap in this work to decenter whiteness at the novice level in world language curriculum. It can be very difficult to find authentic resources, that is resources that are created by French speakers for French speakers that are accessible in terms of the language for novice level students, because our novice students are really only working at the word level and we're pushing them to use sentences, but when you're thinking about the media and the information that you consume, very little of that is really at the word or sentence level. So you can see how this would be more difficult to find these resources. And this is only exacerbated when you're looking for texts from countries other than France. So with this question of representation in mind, in mind I also wanted to focus on creating an introduction to the French language through the Francophone world. So each unit throughout the year long curriculum map has a country of focus for students final assessment. So the authentic resources from a variety of Francophone countries are used throughout the learning sequence. But to ensure that the African Francophone world stayed at the forefront, these countries are centered in students final unit assessments. So now moving to thematic proficiency based curriculum, I have employed the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages, ACTFL's World Readiness Standards for, um, for like Learning Languages. And for students final assessments, I use the integrated performance assessment. So here I've used standards that move away from grammar and accuracy and toward real world interactions and communication with French speaking communities. So for example, in traditional French language classrooms, the gender of a noun would be really important. So le versus la croissant, le and la being the masculine and feminine version of the word the and croissant being croissant. Um, however, in the real world, that really doesn't matter. You would still be understood by a French speaker if you say la croissant instead of le croissant. The meaning is preserved and so your communication is successful. So now we'll look specifically at the unit design for one unit in the curriculum map, unit four. Um, and the Francophone country that I use in the IPA here, that integrated performance assessment, is Mauritius, which is located in the Indian Ocean, if you're unfamiliar with Mauritius. 
And so for this unit, I have chosen education as a theme and students are working to answer the question, what does a day at school look like for students around the world and here specifically in Francophone countries? And in relation to social justice, students are working to respectfully express curiosity about the lived experiences that is everyday educational experiences of others. And so here, this is the student's final assessment for unit four using the IPA, which assesses the three modes of communication. So interpretive, interpersonal, and presentational. And students have an authentic prompt here that I will now read. So they have been selected to participate in a student exchange program at the Lycée La Bourdonnée, which is a real high school in Mauritius. And they will need to find out more about the school before starting the exchange program. So students will look at the school calendar and daily schedule. They will interview their friend to see what courses they are taking and which courses they have together. Because in real life, when the school schedules come out, everybody wants to know what classes they have with their friends. And finally, they have been paired with a peer mentor at the school and they will send them an email talking about how they anticipate their school day to be similar or different at the Lycée La Bourdonnée. So here are some of the authentic resources that students will be working with in the target language, so in the French language. So this is the actual school calendar that we have here and the daily hourly schedule from the Lycée La Bordonnée. So this is pulled directly from their website that the real students use um, as their schedules. And then here I have a sample, just a sample of a class schedule that students will be given. Um, so that they have sort of the extra scaffolded support for their vocabulary building. And finally, the whole curriculum will be available online on my website for other teachers to reference and use. And thank you very much for your attention. Merci beaucoup.